Let's see, what are the headlines for today? Kubernetes is dropping support for Docker. All right, so you probably heard the news, Kubernetes is dropping support for Docker, and maybe that panicked you a little bit, but don't worry. It is a big deal, but it's not the big deal that needs to scare you too much. To begin with, if you were anything like me, for a lot of years, I thought the containers and Docker were synonymous with one another. They were the same thing. But the simple fact of the matter is they're not. Once I started watching content here at CBT Nuggets on Docker, one of the things that I learned is that containers are completely and independent from Docker itself. Containers are a technology that's developed and baked into the operating system itself. Nearly every Linux implementation supports containers and recently it's been rolled into Windows as well. The point is that's not Docker. Containers are an operating system level feature. What Docker brings to the table is, well, a lot of different things. Docker is a management interface. It brings a lot of different utilities and tools, both at the command line as well as in a user interface. And it is a runtime engine. Docker is what actually executes and runs and supports the communication with the container in the way that you're used to. So to date, Kubernetes has been relying on Docker in order to support the runtime of its containers inside of its engine. But the simple fact of the matter is it's not been a great solution for containers. Docker was never intended to be run inside of something like Kubernetes. Docker contains a lot of different features and functionality that, put plainly, Kubernetes doesn't need. Think of all those great user interface elements I just talked about. Kubernetes isn't a user and it doesn't need UI elements, so why does it need to rely on Docker? Instead, what Kubernetes likes is something called the Container Runtime Interface, CRI, which is an open standard specification for runtime for containers. Docker does not meet that standard specification. Docker runs its own engine in its own proprietary way. And what that means is that in order for Kubernetes to interface with Docker, it needs an extra little piece of software, something they call the Docker shim. So now you can start to see why this is getting so complicated and bloated. We've got this whole runtime engine that's full of features that Kubernetes doesn't need. It doesn't interface with Kubernetes directly. We need a second piece of software in order to create that interface for us. Kubernetes has simply decided, you know what? We are no longer going to support the Docker runtime interface. We are going to interface directly with the container runtime interface, CRI. And anyone who wants to use Docker, well, they simply need to switch over to a runtime utility that supports CRI. Most notably, that's probably going to be something called Container D. Now, all of this means very little for us as the end users. You can certainly still use Docker to develop and test and run your containers locally as you're testing them out and trying them out and building them. And when it comes time to deploy your containers into something like Google Container Engine, GKE, well, you're going to need to ensure that your containers are supported by Containerd. So you will interface with the Containerd runtime, make sure that that supports and runs your containers, which it probably will. And you will use the Containerd runtime inside of Kubernetes going forward to support the run of your containers. So all of this is a big deal, of course. This is two major pieces of software that are effectively having a big messy breakup online. But at the end of the day, it doesn't mean the end of the world for us. You are still going to be able to run your containers. All of the functionality that you need is baked right into the operating system level. Kubernetes is going to support Containerd, which supports the CRI, the Container Runtime Interface, and you'll be able to move forward using those tools with barely any changes to your workflow.